Can one take things on installments? Is it permissible? Now, the vast majority of scholars say that buying things in installments is halal. Some scholars say that this is not permissible. And among them is Sheikh Al-Albani. But the vast majority, and Sheikh Al-Sam said that this is permissible, bin Bazim, Athameen, the whole nine yards. Providing that there are two conditions to be fulfilled. Condition number one, that you buy what you're buying from the owner. Because nowadays, if I come to you and I say, I'd like to buy this mobile from you. And you said, I don't have the mobile, but I can get it from a third party. And I said, okay, how much? And you would say, this mobile costs a hundred pounds. I'll sell it to you over the period of two years for 125 pounds. I said, that's fine. That's cool with me. And he said, sign these contracts. These contracts are binding. And you're obliged to transfer this amount to my bank account. Done deal, done deal. I go and buy the mobile phone and I give it to the customer. And Alhamdulillah, this is haram. Why? Because when I sold you the mobile, I had no interest in buying or selling. My interest is in giving you a hundred pounds loan and getting it back to 125. There's no risk on me of these of this mobile be I'm being stuck with it. I can't sell it to anyone and I have to go maybe below a hundred pounds, maybe a little bit more. There's no risk. This is haram. You must buy in installments from the owner. So I can do to justify this is when you come and say, I'd like to buy this mobile phone. I said, come after a couple of days. I go and buy the phone and I bring it in my shop. Two days later, you come and say, did you uh, uh, get the phone? I said, yes, here's the phone. I'll sell it for you for 125. You have the option to say, no, that's too much. Tell you what. I changed my mind. I'm going to buy something else. I have no right to say, hey, I bought this for you. Now I'm stuck with it. No, this is selling and buying. There is the risk of making a profit or making a loss. So this is condition number one. So, okay, I'm buying it from the owner. The second condition is that the final price is fixed and done. So when you come and buy this and I tell you, okay, I, I own the phone, I'll sell it for you or to you for 125 pounds. You should agree. So I give it to you and you start paying in installments. Couple of months down the line, you call and say, uh, listen, Akhi, I, I'm in deep financial problems and I think I'm not gonna be able to pay you for that um, installment for a couple of months. So please, can you bear with me? And I said, no, I can't. If you're gonna delay by two months, you have to make it 130 pounds. So I will add to it for the delay. And you say, um, okay, this is riba. Likewise, if the final price, and this happens in mortgages, is fluctuating due to inflation, due to the interest rate, and so, the agreement was that I buy the property for a million. Six, seven months, he says, well, now it's a million and 200,000. A year later, it's a million and 300,000. What is this? This is totally prohibited. And this is riba that is not accepted.